Hey YouTube, it's Tyler the Antenna Man here to give you guys a heads up about a very common household electrical item that can cause you to lose certain TV stations at night if you use an antenna. Before I get into this video, if you are seeing me for the first time, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've been an over-the-air antenna enthusiast since I was five years old and I'm constantly updating my YouTube channel with new videos relative to TV antenna reviews, reception tips, and cord cutting as a whole. So if you are cutting the cord and want to be free from cable forever, make sure you hit that subscribe button. There is a very common household electrical item many of you own that may cause interference and breakup on a TV station if you use an antenna, specifically if the TV station is on the VHF band. What is this household electrical item I'm talking about? Maybe I shouldn't tell you right away. Maybe I should be like all those other YouTubers out there and just keep talking my butt off for five minutes before I tell you and get to the point. Hey, did I mention that this antenna is junk? Don't buy this antenna. This antenna is junk too. You shouldn't buy it. And if you bought it and have reception issues, this is a problem. Maybe I should get to the point now. I'm sure you just heard that junk antenna crash on the floor. What is this common household electrical item that can cause interference on TV stations, usually at night? The common household item is an LED light bulb. LED light bulbs have become very common in recent years due to their energy efficiency. Despite these light bulbs saving you a few cents each month off your electric bill, they can give off a lot of RF noise, which can interfere with a weaker TV station, usually if it's on the VHF band. I've seen this situation come up in dozens of emails of mine where a person has no problem receiving a TV station during the day, but towards the evening they start to see breakup and it's no longer watchable. A lot of times it's traced back to an LED light bulb, sometimes in the living room and sometimes on a floodlight outside. One way you can find out if your reception issues are related to interference from LED light bulbs is simply to turn off all the LED light bulbs in your house once you start to get signal issues during a certain time in the evening. If you notice the signal issues clear up when you turn off all the lights, the solution is simply to replace some of the LED light bulbs with a regular incandescent light bulb. Now, if you continue to lose certain TV stations during the evening or maybe during the day for some of you, chances are that you are just barely getting the signal to the point that any time there is atmospheric changes or a tiny bit of electrical interference from God knows where, you lose a station. It's usually caused by a non-optimal antenna setup, such as something that looks like this. This is another common antenna that many people have that I discovered does not work the best and is known to fail. So if you have reception issues using one of these antennas, the problem is you're using a junk antenna. I don't know how many times I have to say it. Do not buy these antennas. Do not buy these antennas. I'll say in a different language. No compres estas antennas. They're junk. I have dozens of indoor and outdoor antenna reviews on my YouTube channel that you're free to use as a resource if you're using one of these junk antennas I tell people not to buy, but they buy them anyway. I also offer custom antenna recommendations and setup guidance on my website at antennamanpa.com. A lot of times people may have a decent antenna set up, but they're doing dozens of things that can totally screw up their reception. I go through your unique reception situation, take a look at your current antenna, how you're wiring it, and let you know how to get the best reception possible. I've been very successful with these custom antenna recommendations, and as I said, you're free to use my YouTube channel as a resource, but if you would like my direct assistance, sign up for a custom antenna recommendation on my website. So back to the main subject of this video, LED light bulbs can potentially cause interference on weaker VHF TV stations. So if you notice you're losing certain TV stations during a specific time in the evening, and you have a lot of LED bulbs inside and even outside your home, turn them off and see if that solves your reception issues. A big shout out to the guy who emailed me with his reception issues. We figured out that his issues were LED light bulb related, but the thing that got me is when I told him the solution was to replace some of the the LED bulbs with some regular incandescent light bulbs, he simply said, oh, well, I invested a lot of money in these LED bulbs, so I'm not going to touch them. I'm going to get my money's worth out of it. Really, dude, you're choosing this light bulb over potentially years of free entertainment? I don't know, folks. Maybe this light bulb might, might be more entertaining than what's on TV. If we stare at it long enough, maybe it'll entertain us. What do you think? Eh, I don't think so. 
Thanks again for watching my YouTube channel and be sure to share this video as well because I'm sure there are millions of people out there with reception issues who are not aware that this may be the culprit. If you're on Facebook, like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates on when I post new videos, feel free to sign up to the email list. I attach a link in the description of this video. As always, thanks for watching and have an awesome day.